Hello everyone, in this video I want to dive in to more detail regarding how animations and transitions are handled in, inside InVision Studio. We've already explored how to create quick animations within artboards. This is great for prototyping quickly because we can simulate how a real app will behave in terms of interaction and animation. If we use the live preview, we can even do real-time changes and see how these are handled in a real iPhone. So in this video I want to demonstrate in more detail how animations work, so let's go! To demonstrate how the transition animation works between screens, I created these two onboarding screens which we can present to users that open the app for the first time and ask them for consent to use location and notification services. I want to add an animation between these two screens and go from night to sunny day and use this opportunity to demonstrate how the timeline works. So let's start preparing our two artboards for the animation that we need. So first of all we need to make sure we have the same elements uh, that we want to animate on both of these artboards. So for example if I go here I can see on the first artboard I have the moon but I don't have any moon here on the artboard B. So I'm going to copy this and go into our second artboard. I'm going to paste this and I probably want the moon to go somewhere off screen and I probably want this to not have any opacity. So the moon will will just fade out and I want and I need this sun actually on my on my first artboard so I'm going to go here. I'm going to paste this and I'm going to take our sun, put it here somewhere on the top. Uh, oops. Okay, it's not cooperating with me. That's fine. Take your time. Yeah, okay. Okay. And yeah, uh, so this will have also zero opacity and it will eventually from that position to that position and the moon will go down and on this screen yeah I also want to change this color to something more sunny I guess so it's a full day so now I just need to create a transition between these two screens so I'm going to go to the button I'm going to press C and create a transition to the second artboard when someone taps on the button. All right, and I want to choose motion and let's give it, yeah, let's give it close to one second. And let's just save this and see what's going to happen. Okay. Well, that's, that's actually almost perfect. So now let's go into the timeline and we can check out this um, with a bit more detail. Let's take a moment to explore what's going on with the timeline editor. On the left side we can see the timeline and we can dock this on the bottom of the screen or we can just leave this on the left side. We can zoom in or out of our animation. This will not affect the time of the animation, it's just adjusting the UI so that we can do adjustments a bit with a bit more detail if we want to. And on the right side we can see a preview of our animation. So this is the point A and we can see how it looks on point B. Let's zoom this a bit there. Okay, and now I want to explain a bit better what these bars represent because it's really important. These bars represent all the objects that we have between uh, our, two, our two artboards and we can see that some of these are, dark, are in darker grey and some are not. Well, the lighter grey bars are the ones that we can modify to change the interaction because these are the objects that have been matched from point A to point B. So, for example, we can see that our 
our sun. It exists in both artboards, so it can be it can be changed on 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 both of them. The darker gray ones are those layers that cannot be changed. So these are just going to sort of fade in. Uh, and you can also look at the dots. So if the dot is hollow, that means uh, th there was no match. If it's solid, that means that there was a match. So we can, we can do a quick example of this. So let's say, for example, I take this button here. I put it on this artboard and I'm just going to name this, I don't know, uh, example. Now let's go to our, to our transition and we can see that, let me zoom out a bit. Uh, So our example button, it's, you can see that it's hollow on our second artboard and it's full on our first artboard. That means there, there is no match, it doesn't exist on the second artboard, it only exists on the first one. So it's just going to fade in. And if this one was hollow, and if this one was solid and this one was hollow, that would mean that it exists on the second artboard and not on the first one. And as you can see, there's also a slight problem here because the Envision uh, algorithm failed to identify that these two layers are actually the same. So how can we fix this? Well, there are two ways to go and do this. The first, the first solution would be to press this button here, the auto link layers, where Envision will try to guess if these two uh, layers are the same or not. But if this fails, we could also select these two layers and we could also do link layers. So this will do the same but manually. But let's try to see if if the auto link layers would work. No, it doesn't seem to be guessing they are the same, so let's manually do this. Okay, so now we have these two layers are linked. That means we can use this to control our animation a bit better, which we are going to do just right now. Finally, let's tweak this animation a bit further. So I went for my moon animation to maybe disappear a bit earlier, and I want my sun to start showing up a bit uh, after this moon animation is, is done for. Sorry, I was selecting both of them. Stupid keyboard. No, what are you doing? Um, my keyboard is just acting up on me. No, no, no. Maybe it's not the keyboard, maybe it's Envision itself. This is not going well. Okay, let's try to preview how this works. So our moon just disappeared. Do, 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 do. And where's our sun? Yeah, okay. Yeah, so our sun is taking its sweet time to appear. Yeah, lazy sun. Okay, so now let's make this actually go a bit. Okay. Here we go. Here's the sun. In fact, let's delay this a bit further as well. And we can tweak this. Okay, we can actually use these controls to slow down our animation in the preview. So this will not actually affect the full animation, it's just showing us how, how we can use this to better play out the all of this and um, preview a bit better. Okay, so I think this is, let's make this a bit further and make this a bit faster. Yeah, now I want to 
there's also another thing with it that we can do here, which is affect the speed of our animation. So if we over on each one of these elements, for example, the moon, we can we can actually tweak any of these um, of these properties. And so, for example, I can make the opacity act a bit sooner, and I can tweak the speed of the animation using the these presets or just editing this. So I can make these, if I edit this a bit like this, I can make the initial speed a bit faster and make the this one a bit slower. So let's see how it goes. Okay. I think it's too fast now. Yeah. It's too fast now. So I can Let's make this a bit slow. There we go. I think I need to make this start a bit sooner. Okay. Probably the background as well. Uh, it shouldn't be affecting this. Okay, let's look at this. There we go. Nice. So this is the basics of the timeline. And with this, you can create very impressive animations with zero code and in no time, which we can use to impress our customers or colleagues with these sort of animations. Oh, I forgot that we can change the time actually, so I can make this go a bit further than usual. And let's preview it. Right. Okay. Nice. So this is a little example of what you can do with animations.